and welcome back to the special edition of the Hilton Head News. Sarah Beachkovsky has joined us, Coach Beach. She is Director of Football Operations at Hilton Head High School. Welcome, Coach Beach. Thank you. Thank you for having me this morning. It's Our good, pleasure. It's good to have you with us. Would you share with us a little bit about your background and then actually what you do at Hilton Head High School for the coach <laughs> and for the athletics department? Sure. So I have been with Hilton Head Island High School for the past 15 years in a variety of roles. I started out as a softball coach and then became the varsity softball coach, assistant varsity volleyball, uh, assistant athletic director. I've been a middle school athletic director and finally in this role is director of football operations that I moved to. And what I do is oversee the daily logistics and operations for the high school football program. And you also teach, don't you teach hospitality and a couple other things? I do, I am our career and technical education department chair and I run the hospitality and tourism programs at the high school. Awesome stuff, Sarah, <laughs> just, just terrific. Talk a little bit about Jalen Sneed, one of the finalists for Mr. Football. That's gonna be awarded uh, in December. Talk about the environment with him and uh, what he's brought to Hilton Head as he actually heads off to Notre Dame here pretty soon to uh, continue his football career in college. Yeah, he's actually heading up this weekend, Marcus. He and uh, Coach Painter go, going up to check out the game this weekend at Notre Dame, but he's absolutely electric and he has such fabulous energy, such a humble young man, and just one of the hardest workers all around. So it's no doubt with being uh, nominated for Mr. Football, it, you know, it's always great to have an honor like that on your program, but for those of us that have been around him, we have seen him work so hard and it's we're just so proud of him and having that opportunity to be recognized as a candidate and a potential Mr. Football. And so we understand that he, along with Coach Payne, will be on December the 11th at the North-South game. I know it's been renamed. That's the All-Star football game, is that Correct. right, Marcus? Yes. <laughs> and so he'll be there. And tell us a little bit about that, that game. So that game in particular, there are candidates that are elected seniors from both what we would consider the upstate and the lower state, and they take on each other. Um, all seniors heading off um, to college, some of them committed, some of not, um, to different football programs, but absolutely excellent players, and Jalen was nominated to play among them. So he will be heading up for that game. And as a Mr. Football candidate, not that Coach Payne wouldn't be there anyway, but he will be there for the presentation um, with the candidates as well on Saturday. So Coach Payne will be headed up there as well. As I would assume many members of our coaching staff will be there to watch the game as well. Talk a little bit about what Coach Payne and Jalen have been through both on and off the football field over the course of these uh, last few years. Really a special dynamic between the two that we've seen in our bowl series coverage here on WHHI Sports. Absolutely. So Coach Payne's very dedicated in the off season to making sure that all of our players get exposed through camps and combines where they can have that exposure. Unlike travel sports, there's really not anything like that for football. So it entails a lot of travel to different um, exposure camps, if you will. And through that time, you know, Jalen has joined us from the very beginning and you could tell he was an explosive player. That's how he got his nickname, Nuke. And <laughs> they have just traveled together. And, you know, when you spend a lot of time with somebody and especially with these camps and combines, when you're going up against the best, and Jalen being one of them with all the accolades that he's earned, including being an MVP for rivals, you know, you get to know each other pretty well. So it's a pretty special relationship um, and it's, it's fun to watch. It's fun to watch the two together. We definitely know that Jalen's <laughs> excited about heading off to Notre Dame. He's, uh, he's gonna definitely make an impact there for sure. Sarah, I'd like to know as a woman, how you got into athletics. You have such a passion for it. <laughs> Well, I played Division I softball at Butler University when I went to college in Indianapolis, Indiana. So through that and through the years, I've always stayed connected with sports. It was really a passion of mine. And so as my career has moved and changed over the years, this was a great opportunity to stay involved uh, and just marry that passion of athletics and coaching and education and working with young people. So I really felt like I could have an impact with football. When Coach Payne was brought on, I was at the high school as an assistant athletic director, and he said, you're gonna come work for me, I need your help. <laughs> and I laughed and I said, well, we'll see. And literally, I was his first hire out of those 10 years that he's been with us. And over the course of a decade, I have shifted full time to work with our, our athletes and to work with the program. 
That's outstanding. Sarah, <laughs> thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for all you do uh, in front of the football team, certainly with athletics and beside, behind the scenes, right. certainly helping us out here at WHHI during football. And uh, we'll maybe see you along the line during basketball season too, because <laughs> that's not far away. Catch the games here on WHHI starting this January. Thanks, Sarah, very much. Bye, Thank Sarah. You. And that's a wrap for this special edition of the Hilton Head News. Marcus, it's been great working with you. It's been great working with you too, Robin, always. And we want to thank all of our guests for being with us. Absolutely. And Bob, we'll see you back next week. Bye, everyone. So long, everybody.